Hello everybody, welcome to this video. It's a short overview of Plex PUI installed on a Plex Media Server running on a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. Over here we have a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. On it we have Plex Media Server installed and we've also installed Plex PUI. Its power is connected, connected to the network and we've added libraries from a network attached storage device. Over here we have an Android iOS device with the Plex app installed on it. Here on the large screen we have the Plex PY web interface. Uh, typically this is published on port 8181. Over here we have the same Plex media server web interface which is co-located on the same Raspberry Pi 3. As you can see at the moment there is there is no transcoding happening, there's no movies playing, it's really just the greeting screen. On the Plex PY we can see a similar activity, there's nothing currently being played. And we'll go briefly through the different menus. Obviously the home page or the landing page gives you the activity, the watch statistics, the library statistics and whatever recently added movies, TV show, music or whatever libraries have been defined. Under the library section there is a option to add your libraries and synchronize PlexPy with your Plex Media Server. As you can see, the, the two libraries that we had in the Plex Media Player, Plex Server, uh, we added General and Kitties. As you can see, those libraries have been synchronized across to PlexPy. If we go into the actual library, it's going to give us a little bit of uh, history in terms of the global stats. Uh, played last 24 hours, 7 days, 30 days, whatever users have been accessing it, the recently played movies, and again, whichever recently added movies there are. If we go across to users, these are the Plex users, uh, standalone, local, or unknown. Uh, these users will obviously show here once they log into the system. The history gives us basically what time each user on IP address using what platform and player played which specific movie. Um, what's important here is that it gives the total history in terms of the play. If we go look at the graphs over the same period, we can look at daily play counts. We can look at play counts by day of the week, by hour of the day, top 10 users, or top 10 platforms. Alright, sync settings, whatever synced items that they currently are, with your cloud services. And moving into settings, as you can see, um, we're running version 1.46, which is a Plex Power configuration shows you your, your git branch master your pull uh, it gives you all the information it gives you the plex pi scheduled tasks as you can see most of them are all act active and running and one can go through each of the relevant sections and set up your plex pi right down at the bottom we have the notification agents this is the social media plugins of Plex Pi where you can set up things like your Twitter account your Facebook account your email etc etc all right heading back home to the home screen as you can see there's currently zero activity there is a little bit of history because I've kind of played around with this and had a look at it so there will be some history here Alright, so without any delays, I can see the Android. Let's connect to the Raspberry Pi. Let's select a media file that is AVI so that we can make sure that transcoding actually occurs. Right, so over on Plex Pi here. You can see that movie has begun to play here. I've turned the sound right down so that it doesn't interfere with the demonstration. 
But if I touch the screen here, you can see that the actual video is busy transcoding and the audio is direct. Right, so I click on information. As you can see here on the main screen now, it's busy transcoding. It's currently playing. So as that progresses, we have a little bar that shows me a stream progress and it shows me a transcoded progress. Now the Plex Media Server itself, if you go into the settings of the server and you look at your advanced under transcoder, here one can set up all the settings including very importantly the transcoder temporary directory. Let's head on back to PlexPy. As you can see, my transcoder process is ahead of my stream process and I have a smooth video experience. Alright, so let's pause the movie on my device. As you can see, Once the stats refresh, you can see that the video is actually paused on PlexPy as well. Here's all the data around the streaming, the video, the audio. Um, what's, what's interesting is that in terms of your watch statistics, they can be expanded to show what type of devices are playing. And more importantly, have a look at what devices require actual transcoding. So if we go back to Plex, if we go there, we can see that there's one movie currently paused and that movie was currently transcoding. So if I go back to the actual video on the device and I stop it and I exit it, you can see on the screen that the transcoding process is actually stopped here. Alright everybody, uh, thank you for watching this video.